Well, this was a pleasant surprise. I got a little bit of time uh, this during the week and uh, thought I'd go ahead and see how hard it'd be to tackle pulling the motor out of the green one. I do, I did learn uh, several things between one, taking this motor out and putting it in the first time and then removing this engine. I uh, learned a bunch of tricks and uh, ways to speed things up. So this one, because it's a manual, the uh, bell housing bolts are way easier to get to than that automatic the uh, around the outside of the uh, automatic the uh, the case is really close and you can't actually get from the bottom up with a socket you have to squirrel from the back side of the motor and it's it's pretty rough but this uh, this one it's you get a couple of extensions a swivel you can knock them out from the bottom no problem uh, yeah so this went super easy I was able to able to leave the radiator in um, this time uh, left the radiator in the full harness I still haven't seen anything that could be damaged that's causing the dead short on this so that does uh, I mean even though it's not good it it makes me happier that I went ahead and got the other one so that I didn't if it was something obvious I'd be mad that I got the new one because I could just fix it on this one and then be done but this one has a much better body and uh, none of the wiring has been messed with before this one as we saw inside with the bird's nest of wires there's definitely been some people messing with this one so boom engines out um, super cake I, I left the AC this one is uh, bad originally anyway so I just left it on there to pull the motor out I can take it off and put the new one because I was able to leave this system charged because the AC did work and I, I want to retain that uh, definitely with the humidity around here so I uh, was able to leave that on there now all I gotta do and I'll probably get to it this weekend is pull these uh, clutch bolts off flywheel off swap the flex plate from the automatic over to here and then again like I had stated earlier I'm gonna go through and make sure that there's no random sensors on that the 2001 motor that need to be transferred over to here I don't think there are but better safe than sorry and there uh, the wheel bearings on this thing are shot both sides and these ones are good so when I swap over the whole lift I'm gonna just take the rotor hub assemblies everything off of there and transfer them over to this one that way I can have I almost have to take them off anyway to put the lift on so it, it'll be fine to do then and then I'll just put these busted ones on here so that I can move it around a little bit easier uh, the engine and stuff I'm not worried about getting that swapped over but the uh, all of this suspension components and everything that's gonna be definitely have to be done over time I just between school and work and everything I, I don't have the time to do it and finals are coming up so I'll get the motor in there at least and then we can drive this around I use either one of these I, I use uh, to go to the dump now that's why I put a hitch on it and uh, so I need one of these to be able to take all my garbage off so I got my new heater core I just have it placed in there for right now it's uh, just loose but uh that is in and should be ready to go as soon as I get this uh, motor put in there. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll have a, we'll have an update this weekend, I'm sure.